Hi folks. During this COVID-19 situation, I'd like to share a message with my fellow professors and with students. To professors, many of us are focused on how to run exams and making other adjustments needed to teach online. But I encourage professors to also think of the student's adjustment. Some have parents who have lost their jobs. Those students are worried and they may have to work. Some are lonely away from their friends, maybe with little human contact. Some are back in unhappy homes, perhaps with alcoholism or domestic abuse. Some have family duties at home, caring for their parents, their siblings, or their own kids. Because of all this, some are thinking of dropping out, especially those with less of a safety net, who are the very students many people most root for to get their degree. Professors, we've always had a dual role, teaching and assessing. But assessing students at home is not robust. We don't know how much help they're getting. We don't know if they have a suitable study space. Maybe they have limited computer or internet access or lots of interruptions. So during these unique times, we may want to focus more on our teaching role and less on the assessing. Many schools are allowing pass fail grades for this reason, or professors are adjusting their grading scales, perhaps giving more A's and B's. Maybe we want to replace large high stakes exams by many smaller low stakes activities like homeworks, quizzes, or small custom projects. For those low stakes activities, we might add tolerances to account for the challenges students face at home, like dropping the lowest two or three quizzes, allowing multiple attempts, having flexible deadlines, or gentle late policies. Recognizing student loneliness, we might have students do some team projects. In summary, during these times, I encourage professors to consider decreasing emphasis on our assessment role and increasing emphasis on our teaching role. And to our wonderful students, many of you are likely experiencing emotions, sad to be away from college, lonely away from friends, scared about the future, maybe angry about disruptions to your plans. This is all normal, and I encourage you to let yourself feel those emotions, to talk to people about them, and to give yourself time to work through them. It's a process. At the same time that you're sad, lonely, or scared, or angry, you can also be brave. Some of you are thinking of dropping out for a while or maybe for good. But I encourage you to find that determination that you have in you. You can choose to have the attitude that nothing will get in your way. If you face a problem, maybe with registration or an at-home test that goes poorly, I advise you to be polite but persistent in trying to solve the problem with your professor or university. Polite but persistent. Also remember that future employers and grad schools will know that grades are different during COVID-19. And if you catch a bad break, like a low grade, I encourage you to keep going because it turns out we sometimes exaggerate in our minds how bad something really is, especially right when it happens. Another message I want to share with students is that this crisis shows the need for more people willing to fight the good fight to help to improve the human condition. There were people preparing us for a pandemic, but we needed more of them. I encourage you to consider what other challenges humanity faces and to be aware that some careers address those challenges quite directly, improving some aspect of our lives. Maybe it's climate change, drunk driving, or homelessness. Maybe it's building products or services that help people to be safer or healthier. Maybe it's improving education. Whatever it is, I hope this crisis will encourage many of you to think of your careers not just as a paycheck or something fun, but also as a way to spend time improving the human condition, fighting the good fight. In closing, I wish everyone well. I hope you stay safe and connected with your loved ones.